Speaker. Mr. Speaker, I rise to support uh, the statement on copper and gold mining in Yatike, sub-county Migori County, as a statement that mirrors mining in various parts of this country. I think we've had the Kakamega mines, same framework. We have mining in other counties, including Sierra County. Mr. Speaker, this statement speaks to political interest in the mining industry and the need to ensure that those who engage in these activities under the Mining Act comply with the law and ensure that all and sundry who engage in mining uh, through uh, subsidiaries and companies, and, and Mr. Speaker, there's a growing infiltration of Chinese miners who go into countries, uh, get into arrangements with some of our governors and county governments. And Mr. Speaker, what we witnessed in Makalda, in Migori, is an embarrassment where the governor and an MCA were involved in scaffolds because of the lack of understanding and or clear compliance with the legal framework that governs mining in that area and clear interests, Mr. Speaker, that are palpable. I, uh, Mr. Speaker, I know Makada has been an area where gold and silk, copper have been mined by uh, individuals for a long time. And I think a lot of Migori uh, as a county has that problem. Mr. Speaker, the Environment and Land Committee needs to put to a halt sporadic problems that arise in various counties, counties in this country because of unregulated, unregulated mining. We have seen, uh, even in Kuala County, we have issues touching on mining. I call upon Mr. Speaker, the Chair of the Committee on Lands and Environment, to visit Migori County. This 